Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Burka Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught us this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, risking their lives in these last days to push this truth in truth and sincerity. You know, hold on strong. You know, salvation is close. It's the brother Yara Ya, Yashar Allah from the GMS Italia camp. And I just wanted to do this quick one, you know, regarding um, the incident that took place at our camp yesterday. So I've actually decided to not not to make videos regarding, you know, our harassment by the police anymore because, you know, it's getting to a little too often. So in order not to be saying the same thing, you know, I decided not to do videos anymore about, you know, our harassment. I believe two weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken, we also got harassed and our, our camp also got stopped by the police. If not three weeks ago, you know, it's like we go two weeks without disturbance and one week, you know, they come after us every time. So anyway, this is um, a video I posted yesterday. And the reason why I'm doing this uh, this lesson is because there is an irony regarding what actually took place yesterday, you know. So this is actually the camp. And at this point, you can see the man right there. There were actually three, three of them, you know, they were on Mufti, but their police officers came over and he showed us his documents. As a police officer, you know, they collected our documents. You know took pictures of our documents you know took pictures of you know our 12 tribe shots and the rest of you know the images we had with us you know this is this is a classic you know so anyway um they told us that we couldn't we couldn't teach where we are because we needed you know a permit to be where we actually standing and right at our front here there is a church a so-called edomite church you know a pagan church looking very very weird and eerie you know so they told us that that's um that's uh that's a, a sanctuary area i don't really know how to put the words they said is a is a holy place for them that we can't be teaching things against what their doctrine is you know so they had a call that they needed to you know get us out of that place but we know that you know people didn't really call them you know they were, they've actually had eyes on us every now and then when we, go, when we go out to teach and this is a city when it's the second time we're coming to teach in this in this city and there is just something you know eerie and wicked about the city you know people don't really they don't they don't they don't want to accept this truth whenever they see us you know they, they get they get really they get really kind of how should i put it many of them laugh at us you know in which you know we don't really care because this is our duty uh, many of them you know they say things that are that are not really cool to us you know which it is accepted you know but most majority of the people just walk by and you know don't even regard us you know so the first time we went to teach in the city you know there was something really just i didn't like about the city but we said we were going to come back the second time and we are also going to go the third time yahaba hashem yahushai rataza you know to let it be like um a testimony against them because what we do is we, we we travel to different cities and we try to teach in each city three times you know then switch city so to cut the long story short you know let me just play a little piece of the video then you can go to my channel and watch the rest So anyway, I wouldn't play too much of the video not to let the not to keep the lesson too long. If you're really interested, it's 
one of the last videos I posted. It's the part one. So anyway, these two men that you saw are officers. They have one more colleague behind that's filming, you know. So right at our front right there, you have a church, you know, a so-called Edomite Ido church. So what they were telling us is we can't we can't be there, you know, preaching against a church because we had um we had the image, you know, that says that um the, the so-called Jesus is that image is the image of Cesare Borgia, you know, we had it with us. So they were they were actually listening to us, you know, minutes before they came over. They were actually right there at the front, you know, just you know, observing everything, you know, recording our lessons with their phones, making all sorts of different calls. So we actually, I told, I told the brother Kal Kalam, I told him that you know these are officers, and you know just keep your keep your status, you know, just keep teaching, you know. So anyway, um, they told us that they came, they asked for our documents. They snapped our documents. They told us that we can't be teaching things that are against the church that's around, that's um, at our front. Now, the irony is, you know, we're actually here being servants of the Most High, Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, you know. Um, we came here to teach and preach, you know, the word that's going to lead to life, you know. The word, the truth, the gospel, you know, that's going to take that's going to that's going to take us to, to 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 the next level you know that's the kingdom to come eternal life you know so our words are actually words of life then right beside us at this other side you can't see it at the screen that's to our right hand side okay we had this table where you know they have um let's see if i can find that word because okay we had this table where they're actually gathering petition for a new law to be passed and you know it was actually the euthanasia euthanasia in which euthanasia actually means euthanasia is the practice of intentionally ending life or receiving pain from suffering different countries have different euthanasia law so they're actually trying to pass this law in italy in which euthanasia is you know when one just decide to end his own life you know then you go to the hospital they give you this sort of lethal injection and you, the, that person passes away you know so they were actually the, the the irony was at the other side they were they were they were preaching they were preaching their own gospel of death you know and those people were free to do what they can they're, they're actually doing in which it's against the commandments you know the commandments tell us tells us not to kill okay so we can't kill nobody or not even ourselves, you know. This is what the commandments actually says. So they are pushing this thing heavy at the other side of our right hand. And it's actually at the front of the church. But the church is not even complaining about that. But the church is actually complaining about we. That we just at one angle, you know, teaching the truth, you know. So this is the irony of what happened yesterday. And I am just going to bring out some scriptures and end this lesson and this is also this is also you know showing you the times that we're getting into you know the times we're getting into and each time this police they come to us you know they would always insist to ask you know what's the name of our denomination the name of our group and so so on and so forth you know but we just you know we play we play we play we play wise you know wise as the serpent and gentle as the dove you know we don't necessarily need to tell them everything, you know. Um, it's the Most High Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai that's guiding our steps, and we know that they know who we are because each time they get our documents, you know, they put them down in a database. They call back their offices, and you know, they make researches. They actually know who we are. You know, the other time we were at the the Colosseum at Verona, you know, we had a whole a whole crew of um of of soldiers coming to take us away with armed weapons you know they took us away you know request our documents did a little interview before they let they, they, they let us go and all for just you know going out to teach this truth you know but you know the scriptures have, have actually let us know that these are the things we're going to face the book of revelation says you know some of us are going to be to be closed and locked in the prisons you know by the devil I'm just paraphrasing you know for 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 a time space of 10 days which means completion you know 
we need we, we have to hold on strong and be faithful even unto death you know this is our duty our duty is out here to teach this word that has given us life and we are actually doing the same thing you know yahweh shai said if you love me if you, you feed my sheep he said that to his apostles and we are actually doing the same thing that these apostles have done you know so anyway because truly we are actually the same spirit coming back i'm trying to okay let's get back this page which i'd like to read um, a couple of scriptures then close up this lesson this is the book of isaiah chapter 5 verse 20 So this is the book of Isaiah chapter 5 verse 20. It quotes, Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. Woe unto them that are wise in their own eyes and prudent in their own sight. So, well, this is actually the, the kingdom we're actually living in. This is the irony of the, of the kingdom, which, you know, when you're out there, you know, doing the, the, the work of the monster, you are Shem Yahu Shai, you know calling back the the lost sheep of israel to come back to their to their senses to their heritage and you know bidding them to 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 the to the supper which is you know the the, the kingdom that's about to come but you know they they, they 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 come after you and tell you that what you're doing is wrong you know they send their, their their soldiers to come and intimidate you and you know take off that spirit try to quench the spirit and warn to these people because they try to quench our spirit all the time we had a beautiful spirit starting off yesterday, but once they came, you know, they tried to quench the spirit. But oh, praises to the Most High Yahweh Shem Shai for giving us the spirit to continue. You know, so let me get another precept. This is the book of Romans, Romans chapter eight. This is the book of Romans chapter eight. Then I'll read from verse seven. He quotes, "Because, because the carnal mind is enmity meets against Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, because the carnal mind is enmity against power Yahweh Bashem Yahushai, for it is not subject to the law of Yahweh, neither indeed can be. So then, they that are in the flesh cannot please Yahweh, but ye are not in the flesh, but in the spirit. If so be that the spirit of Yahweh dwells in you. Now, if any man have not the spirit of the anointed Yahweh Shai, he is none of he is none of his. Okay. And if the anointed Yahweh Shai be in you, the body is dead because of sin, but the spirit is life because of righteousness. So as you can see, you know, these people are actually kind of minded, you know. They are kind of minded. They can they don't have the spirit that we have. You know that's why they would actually they would they would um they would rather send us packing away you know because we're preaching the truth we're, pre we're preaching words of life and you know choose to have you know um people preaching death you know euthanasia as i showed you those preaching this 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 they were actually they had the right to stay there and we that we were preaching actually out of the book of the law we were sent away packing so this is the irony of what happened yesterday but let me get one more scripture before before i leave it's the book of john chapter 8 and i'll go straight to verse 44 and this is yahweh shai speaking which quotes and ye are of your father the devil and the lust of your father ye will do he was a murderer from the beginning and abode not in the truth because there is no truth in him when he speaketh a lie he speaketh of his own for he is a liar and a father of it okay so you know this is what yahushua is saying and because i tell you the truth you believe me not you know so that's what they actually you know are doing to 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 to, to the men of the most high yahweh shem yahushai all over the world you know and we believe that you know that time of that famine of the truth is just right at the door you know seeing all the new policies you know they bring in especially with google that if you don't have the you know if you if you don't if you haven't taken if you haven't taken the the vanessa 
the Vanessa juice, you know, you wouldn't be able to log into 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 Google anymore. So, you know, lots of things are also coming. And just one more one more information from Italy, you know, the president, you know, Drago, the dragon, Mario Draghi, okay, aka the dragon, he actually passed the, the, the obligation of this um Vanessa juice, you know. So it's 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 ob- obligatory now, you know, according to what he said in his um in his um in his speech that's on that was on Friday, okay. He said it's going to be um, obligatory, and they have also passed the third, the third, um, the third portion. Okay, so people are actually meant to take the third portion as well. So as you can see, you know, we're getting to that time that you know, um, these prophecies are coming up. You know, the most I hear about Shemi Al Shai is hastening the time. You know, that's why this year is called the year of hastening, hastening. You know, according to how the it was given to the to the elder apostle taha this is the year of hastening and the most is hastening everything you know if you if you if you if you have your spiritual eyes open if your eyes are already washed with high soap you can see that truly you know this kingdom this kingdom is done it's true man and i can't see this kingdom going other than you know next year you know so hey get up your get up thy loins you know and prepare thyself for that great day of the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, because it's going to be a, a great day of darkness, you know, a day of destruction. That's why we are actually, you know, we're doing this this work, you know, doing this work, you know, in in and out of season, you know, giving all our everything into it because this is this is the thing that can save us, you know. This is this is actually a thing that we can that can help us get messy before Yahweh Shai, you know. Um, um, we're actually doing this thing because we know we fear the most high Yahweh Hashem Shai, and we don't really care about our, our own lives, you know. So hey, I just wanted to share this. I hope it's edifying, you know. I'd like to give all my praises to the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai, but Hashem Kodash, My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught us this truth, which is the hundred percent truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect spread around four corners of the earth. Shalom, Abad Balbal.